share with you how to add or even use the resources function in Schoology. So please begin by logging into Schoology and then um, see resources at the top in that blue bar. And we'll just start by going into the personal resources. Here in personal resources, you see um, three folders, and this is a, just the overall navigation. And then within that, you have each of these. So presently, I'm in personal. And I, in my personal resources, I have home, learning outcomes, downloads, public resources, public, and then um, it also can, Schoology can also connect directly to Google Docs. So here you see um, my collection of Google Docs. We're going to begin uh, here at the home tab and you can just, you have all of these options. So I'll leave that up to you to decide which option uh, you may want to add in your own personal resources that you might use for your courses. One major, major resource we're going to talk about today is adding learning outcomes. So you see that I have some learning outcome folders added. Common Core is actually already included in Schoology, so I'm just going to delete that one. And you can watch the aligning assignments video to learn how Common Core, you can add Common Core outcomes to your assignments and to other folders within your course. But if you would like to create your own learning outcomes or learning targets that are specific to certain skill sets that help students achieve Common Core or national or state standards, I am going to show you how to do that. So you can go ahead and start with Add Folder you'll see that I have a French 1 folder and later I will add French 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we'll go ahead and click on that folder. And within each folder I've created another folder for each chapter. So again to do that just go add folder and it will prompt you and you can include a short description of what that folder contains so that you don't forget. Let's just take a look in chapter 0 and you'll see now the icon has changed from a folder to a target with a pencil. So now is when I would like to add a learning outcome. So I just click add learning outcome and I can title that learning outcome. You'll see that just kind of below I've titled mine with the number for the chapter point and then the sequence of the learning target and so that's just the order in which the student would acquire that target. So more on that. First we're going to learn how to use dictionaries, then the student is going to learn about cognates and after that we're going to talk about francophone countries, so on and so forth. So having some sort of ordering system in advance will help you sequence these learning outcomes. So to add a learning outcome Simply give it a number, and generally learning start targets start with I can language, and then you can list whatever language you would like uh, per what you've decided with your colleagues through the PLC process. So then go ahead and click Create, and you'll see that that learning outcome or learning target has been added below. I can then add this learning target or use this learning target to align with various assignments or add it to uh, chapters within my course. So to show you what that looks like, I'm going to go back to my course under Courses at the top. And if, I, if you take a look at Unit 1 here, you can see that I've aligned each section of the unit with the learning outcome or learning target that students are going to work on uh, and acquire. It's pretty uh, easy to do that. If you just click Edit, once you create a section, we'll look for, I believe it is the target, and you can just click on that and that will allow you to align. So if I go under Learning Outcomes, 
personal because they're in my home. It's what I added myself. French 1, Chapter 0, and there I see that um, 0 0.6 learning target I could add. It's highlighted in green. You just click on it, and then I can click Add Alignment. And you'll now see that that alignment shows up with, along with the other alignments I added. To remove an alignment, you simply click on the X and that will delete that alignment. And when you are done and ready to move on, just click Save Changes. And then students will be able to view that alignment as they are working through uh, your course, either face-to-face -face or if they're using materials to review or practice or pre-teach at home. So a very handy tool to align uh, what you are doing as an educator so that your students can see how it relates to their learning. It really does support making learning visible and I encourage you to uh, try it even just a little bit. You can also use the Common Core Standards to align if you do not have the time to add your own. The Common Core Standards are already uploaded into Schoology for all educators to use. So I will show you what that looks like. Go to the blue target again. You can see Common Core. And then let's say I, this were a math course. I can navigate through the appropriate um, mathematics Common Core standard. This is a high school course. Let's say it was Algebra Introduction. I can look at that and take a look if I'm working with equations and inequalities. And then I can just click on um, the appropriate Common Core standard. It will highlight it in green and I can click Add Alignments. And so then you'll see that here, Mathematics 9 through 12. If I save that, students will then be able to mouse over that alignment and read exactly how this uh, section of our unit supports their learning. So I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to contact uh, myself or your district or building representative with any questions about using Schoology and I hope you try this soon so that we can make learning visible for all students.